Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out part two in my series on bacteria. If you didn't see part one, make sure to go back and watch that. This video will be about transformation, transduction, and conjugation, and then I'll go through some other things on granules and plasmids. So we'll start off with how genetic information is transferred in bacteria. There's three ways. So we've got transformation, transduction, and conjugation. It can be kind of um, easy to confuse certain aspects of these three things. So I'm going to uh, make it real easy for you guys, give you a couple ways to remember these things, and just give you all the important stuff with no fluff. So let's get into it. DNA transformation. So DNA transformation um, is going to involve the uptake of naked DNA molecules. Now when I say naked DNA molecules, I mean just DNA, no other proteins or enzymes. So it's a process in which naked DNA is released by lysis of one bacteria and taken up by a second, leading to a change in phenotype. So you've got two bacteria. Let's pretend that one, one of your, hold up your fist, one fist is a bacteria, hold up your other fist. That one is a second bacteria. The second bacteria lyses. So you open your hand, it lyses, it releases DNA. The second bacteria, this other bacteria comes along and Incorp takes in that DNA. That's called transformation. So what do we have to know about this? It's the most susceptible to DNAs, an enzyme that snips DNA, and no cell-to-cell -cell contact is required. Okay, moving on to transduction. So to remember this, we're going to think of a transducer. So somebody that converts, or we need a transducer. The transducer is a virus, a bacteriophage. So in this one, transfer of genetic material from one bacterial cell to another by that viral infection of that bacteriophage. Again, no cell-to-cell -cell contact is required, and this one is the least susceptible to DNAs. And transfer of DNA via a bacteriophage, so you might see this one referred to as phage-mediated. Conjugation. Do you remember this one? We're going to think of a conjugal visit in, at a prison. So this is, and that's because this is the bacterial form of sexual reproduction. So in conjugation, we have a plasmid that's going to be transferred from one live bacterium to another through direct contact. Now, remember in the other two, I specifically mentioned no direct contact. So it's a topic that's, that's tested on and that comes up sometimes. And the direct contact is established through the pili. So we come across something called F-factors or F-plasmids. So uh, the one bacteria will transfer an F-plasmid through the pili into the other uh, bacteria. So plasmids transferred from a donor cell called the F-plus cell to a recipient cell, F-minus cell, during conjugation. I don't think you need to specifically know this F-plus, F-minus stuff, but I would definitely know that an F-factor or an F-plasmid is seen in which type of um, transfer of genetic information. Is it going to be transformation? Is it going to be transduction or conjugation? It's going to be conjugation. So definitely have to know that. So conjugation continued. This is going to transfer the greatest amount of genetic information compared to transformation and transduction. And antibiotic resistance is transferred to other bacteria through this method. So the ability to grow in the presence of antibiotics is passed from one bacteria to another through conjugation. So what do we got to know about conjugation? 